Hello Java students. This is a companion video for Chunk 1, Module 5, While Loops. We are looking at the core concept of dissecting the while structure. We're going to use our simple while program that you have already typed into NetBeans, and we're going to make sure that we understand line by line in excruciating detail exactly what the compiler is doing. Remember, compilers don't guess, they don't skim, they take us extremely literally. They're very patient with us but they are very literal. Let's make sure that we know what this program does. This program prints out the value of the string I'm looping a bunch of times. And in this case, it is going to do so exactly 10 times. Let's reground ourselves in some fundamentals of Java syntax before we jump into more complicated loops. Syntax is the way that a language is put together. Syntactical elements in English would include where do we put the verbs, what's an appropriate way to use parentheses and quotation marks do we put parentheses in the middle of a word no we put them after words periods have no space before them and they have one space after those are syntactical rules in english in java our syntactical rules are of a parallel nature but they're also extremely rigid when we declare a while loop we use the keyword while and then we include the expression that is evaluated to true or false in the parentheses following while. What I really want us to internalize is this idea of a block. You'll notice that in my tutorials I usually call what we're studying while controlled blocks. This is a little bit of a non-traditional phrase to, d uh, to talk about what are we learning. We usually folks would say while loops. Well, while creates loops but the syntactical element is a while controlled block, meaning we have a block which is delimited by curly braces, opening and closing, and the, value, the, the evaluation of our expression, num loops less than 10, controls whether or not the lines of code inside that block are executed. The while loop has embedded in it the rule that it will return at the close of its looping process to the evaluation expression each time that loop completes. In other words, it doesn't just continue marching down the program. It stops at the end of its block and returns to this num loops less than 10 expression. And as we learned in our previous video, by num looping being increased inside the while loop, num loops inches up to 10 until, uh, and then when it is 10, this statement evaluates to false and we skip and move to, move to the next uh, statement after the while loop down here after while. Let's also remember that our indentation process is designed to show us how the blocks are laid out in a Java program. Every single block is opened by an open curly brace and closed with a closing curly brace. You'll notice that my class open curly brace is highlighted along with its companion curly brace. Every curly brace has one and only one partner in the Java land and those uh, partners encapsulate what is inside that block. And so by using the indentation scheme, which is any line of code that is inside another, uh, another block is indented by one tab. In other words, the while block opens here, so this very next line is contained within the while's block, therefore it is indented one tab in from where the while loop was left justified. This pattern holds all the way out to the class, which is everything inside that I have highlighted is inside the class. Therefore, it is all one tab in. We need to get good at our keyboards. Okay, we're going to practice a little bit of keyboard magic. Control X without anything selected will cut the line. It doesn't delete the line. It actually cuts the line, which means if I take that line out with control X and then I paste it in with control V for Victor I have moved that line but many times we just want to get rid of the line forever in which case we use control X and then when we hit control X again whatever was in the clipboard the imaginary storage space for items that are copied or cut goes away uh, we can change tabs multiple rows at the same time by selecting those rows notice I'm doing my selecting with holding down the shift key and the arrow keys. Shift plus an arrow allows us to do what's called uh, multi-line or multi-character select with the keyboard. And 
any line that we have selected, as long as the beginning of the line is selected, we can change the indentation width using the tab key. Look how much fun I'm having. Tab will move in, shift tab moves back out. Just do this for a while. Whee! In, out. Again, shift tab for out and tab for in. You gotta know this so that you can debug your code and make it pretty. We need the code structure to help the reader understand what lines of code are in which blocks. It helps us debug, it helps us understand, just like paragraphs help us read long complicated chunks of text, and uh, unlike modern literature, Java will never go postmodern and say, we don't need any more paragraphs, my book is one paragraph. Java will never do that, because it's not practical. Interesting, but not practical. On that note, any artistic philosophical rant shall be shut down promptly.